Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So some people have contacted me and asked me to cover this blackmail story. Now, once again, if it's in a fake stream media, it's there for you to see for a reason. UK government, it says here, accused of blackmail to keep scandal plagued Johnson in power. This is just more soap opera drama, as I was saying earlier, to keep people from looking and questioning the people who are really making the decisions, the banking corporations, the money lenders who are funding all of these changes. It says here, a senior conservative lawmaker accused the British government on Thursday of intimidating and attempting to blackmail those lawmakers they suspect of wanting to force Prime Minister Boris Johnson out of power. Now, I have to laugh at this because... This being reported, it implies that the government, these puppet tyrants, are usually incredibly noble and virtuous people. And the House of Commons is a place of high moral and ethical standards. And the idea of something like blackmail occurring in such a virtuous place is Oh, it's highly unusual and shocking when I would imagine it's something that happens on a daily occasion. Scrap that, probably on an hourly occasion. You know, I mean, I mean, look at Epstein Island and all the hidden cameras and all the politicians and high ranking businessmen that attended there. It's a blackmail scheme. A lot of these people have control files on them. So it's part and parcel. But this story is, is implying that it's highly unusual. It says here in the BBC, Boris Johnson, I've seen no evidence of plotters being blackmailed. Well, he would say that, wouldn't he? Mr. Johnson told reporters, I have seen no evidence and heard no evidence. But asked if he would look into the reports, he replied, of course. Labour's deputy leader, Angela Rayner, called the claims shocking and Liberal Democrat leader Sir Ed Davey accused Mr Johnson of acting more like a mafia boss than a prime minister. It's shocking, says Angela Rayner. Of course it is. I mean, their whole system is run on blackmail and control files. The only grain of truth that might be in relation to this story is that there is some sort of internal struggle going on. I wouldn't call it a power struggle as they have no power. As like I said, these people are puppet actors just saying what they've been told what to say. But even on the level of being these stooges, there's still a, a competition to be the top puppet stooge. So yeah, there is some argy-bargy maybe going on, but this article is trying to imply that something like blackmail and an act of coercion, which is using the threat of revealing or publicizing either substantially true or false information about a person or people unless certain demands are met. They're implying that this way of carrying on is shocking within the government when it's a daily occurrence and they have been using coercion as a policy on the public for the last year or so. Blackmail and coercion is their bread and butter. I mean, come on now. It's a joke, is it not? As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who don't follow the fake stream media.